I am still in complete utter shock. I was driving over here and it was starting to hit me and I was just so many butterflies in, in the best way possible. And I just, I feel so fortunate to be a part of this franchise and this legacy and have this group of people that's here tonight a part of it. It's, it's just something that I could have never dreamed up myself. It must have been what? Extremely, extremely. I mean, from the beginning, like when I was auditioning, it was something I really had to try to keep in perspective to not get too excited because the group of people, it's like the perfect storm. The group of people, the story, the legacy of the of the franchise and the history of it made it so that it could be this really incredible thing. And I was like, so close to having, but not yet. And then when I finally booked it, I could really let myself just kind of bask in, in being proud and happy and excited and get to work with all these insane people. Yeah. Well, of course, but it's like something that I thought is, is so incredible is David Gordon Green, Dan McBride, and Jeff Fradley wrote this film, and, and I don't think that they're outright, like, we have to write a movie about three strong women at the helm, and that's what we're going to do. It's going to be a feminist movie. Like, let's do this. That's just how they write women. They feel that way about women, and they respect women in that way, and they see women that way. And that, to me, is what, it, nothing was forced. It was just, it just so happened we were women, you know? They wrote an incredible story, and it just happens that three women are at the helm. Well, it's Halloween, of course. You know what's actually funny is this is the first, maybe I'm wrong, but I think I'm right, this is the first Halloween movie to come out in October. Isn't that insane? It's insane. It's the first one to come out around the actual holiday. But um, no, I think it's perfect for Halloween because it's it's Halloween. It's like it kind of defines the holiday in a lot of ways. It's yeah. It's incredible, and they built this house here for people to hang out in. I think it's pretty wild. I'm actually moving in. That's where yeah, I'm gonna live. I'm crashing there tonight. It's like noogies and wedgies, and, and yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. We gently kiss each other when we want, when the other person wants to win. We'll <laughs> a kiss in the forehead. Yeah. We're all love. We never, we never fight. That's why we're able to still work together. It's awesome. I mean, writing this screenplay every time you would write, you know. A stage direction with the shape in it, or Lori, it just felt surreal to be uh, to be handed that and to be able to like continue the story. It was wild. But, well, you know, what we try to do is just inject as much fun as possible, and we're big horror film fans, and we the love of that, but making sure that there's enough for everybody. So if you're a horror fan, you're invited to this party, and if you're not, I think there's a lot to to uh, latch on to. I think people are gonna have a good time, you know. Halloween and beyond. What's what of his? You know what's scary about him is the nothingness of him. That there is no character. There's no monster mask. It's just a nothing essence of evil. You better watch out. The hair to me is the scariest part. Just kind of gross. Just matted and weird. Yeah, the hair scares me the most. Yeah. Because it's called Halloween. Bill, how are you? Have fun during Halloween. You dressed up. Um, I have dressed up a little bit. I've had, you know, um, I've, I've uh, been, you know, um, I, I was a very convincing Morticia with my daughter Annie as Wednesday. You know, I've, I've thrown it down a little bit. It's a movie about trauma, and it's a movie about the honest result of violence. You know, we make, we, we make a lot of movies, we see a lot of movies with a lot of violence, but we don't see a movie that picks up 40 years later where we see the result of that violence. And I was very proud to represent a trauma victim who is not a victim, who is a trauma um, survivor who is preparing every day of her life for the eventual reunion with Michael Myers. And that I took very seriously and I gave it a lot of thought and, and gravitas because 
that's what I was able to bring to it. I could not be light about this for one second. Thank you very much. You know what? <clears throat> uh, the only reason I did it is because David Gordon Green and Danny McBride wrote a very interesting way of looking at trauma three generations later. That's why I'm here. I'm here because they made a movie about a mom and a daughter and a granddaughter and what trauma has played in their lives. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Thank you. That's really kind of you. Uh, it was incredibly exciting. We have a really specific way that we make movies. I was really wanted to see if we could use the Blumhouse system on IP that's been around for 40 years, and I'm very happy with the result. Well, we believe that the simpler and less expensive things are, the scarier they are, and I think that's the key to Michael Myers, is he's simple, he has no backstory, you can put your own fears on his face, which is kind of anonymous, and that makes him the most frightening villain who's ever not lived. <laughs> it's the perfect horror movie for Halloween, clearly, and uh, it's one of the hardest movies I've ever, we've ever worked on to get it actually to put together, so I'm really pr proud to be here tonight. It's perfect. It's about three generations of women taking on the most evil man alive and destroying him. Thank you. Thank you. It's insane. I've always been a big fan of Halloween, so the, the fact that I'm here with my buddies, it's just insane. I've never been anything like this before. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we did away with all the other sequels, clean it up. And uh, we're following Laurie Strode 40 years after the events of the original. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It's extremely exciting for me. This is awesome. Okay, so you were just coming. I know you watched the movie and it's all fake, but were you at least a little bit intimidated? Uh, yeah, with, with, the, with the mask and the knife and the fake blood. It just looked all real to me. And why do you think this Halloween movie is so scary? Uh, because, like, well, when I was passing around in L.A. driving here, I saw, like, the big old billboards, and there was one where he was, like, and I just, I just, yeah, that messed me up. Well, I wouldn't say it was his movie there. You know, he was part of that original movie, and, uh, of course, part of that film was John Carpenter and Jamie Lee, and, uh, you know, what, what exploded out of that movie, no one could have had any idea. Um, but to be talking about it 40 years later and with this big, great film that I'm so proud of and I'm, I love all these people that worked on it, um, no one would be happier than my father to see this. Yeah. Oh my God, well I might be biased, but I think Michael Myers is the greatest horror icon of all time. You have uh, one of the best directors of all time, a fantastic writer and cast. I mean, this is going to blow fans of the Halloween series away. And not only fans of the series, new fans who don't even know about Halloween. This is the movie to see. I, it's completely thrilling. I think it's one of the greatest horror franchises of all time. The first film is completely pioneering in uh, what it established as a language in terms of the tropes of a, horror, a slasher film with the final girl, etc. Uh, the music, I think, is so groundbreaking and incredible. I'm so happy that John Carpenter did the score for this as well. It's really just such a blessing to be a part of it. And um, It's because he could be anyone. He could be anything and anyone. And I think you project onto him everything you're afraid of. I also think that it's very frightening how randomly he goes about his psychosis. You know, it's... It's not because of some specific trauma. He is just an embodiment of evil, and he selects people uh, in a way that we can't understand, which is kind of true in the way that we, you know, in the way that true evil people act. We can't understand them, right? So I'm not afraid of anything. So I am not going to be afraid tonight, and I will not have any issues with seeing this film is not going to be scary.
So uh, that's okay. <laughs> of course, yeah, thanks. Thank you so much. Well, oh, for me, it's just been a lot of fun. I mean, it was a surprise that 40 years later, someone would give me a call and say, hey, do you want to be Michael Myers again? I went, what? And so, but it turned out to be, uh, I do a cameo in the movie and kind of like, someone just mentioned the spiritual uh, advisor. Of, uh, spiritual guru. Uh, guru of the set, you know, just kind of give my, uh, my okay. Yeah, it, it was a ball. So, um, and this movie, thank God, was done so well that I can honestly say I'm proud of being a part of it. That's for sure. That's right. It was brilliant. I mean, for, for so many, on so many levels, I mean, it's the culmination of all the things I've learned and accrued, the knowledge that I've accrued as an actor, as a stuntman, uh, as a writer, as a, as a filmmaker. Um, I started my career at Universal Studios as a tour guide, and then I did the Conan show at the Universal Studios tour. So going back to Universal is just perfect. Um, it, getting the torch pass from Nick, and we actually got to do it in the most perfect way because we did it. We got to work together in one scene, and the very first scene that that, that yeah. Jamie sees Nick, and she sees the shape, the lawyer sees the shape. It's Nick and it's I in the same scene. So he's he's in the first shot and the reveal. Then I'm in the second part of that shot. And then I carried the torch from that point forward. So it was literally handing of the baton, man. It was beautiful. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Sure. How can people who are dressing up as Mike Myers this year, how can they be the scary Mike Myers? What tips do you have to be shame? <laughs> you don't have to do much. What's so cool about that mask? Don't tell them that. Oh, no, sorry. You do have to do a lot. But <laughs> that's right. We were brilliant. Actors, of course, one. But the mask, designed by my friend Tommy Wallace on the first one, somehow just has this magic. You stand with that, and don't say a word, by the way. Don't say a thing. That's the main thing. You never say a word, and there's something very, very creepy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my, my, I, am I dreaming? I don't know. I feel very overwhelmed right now, but I've had a Guinness, and um, there's Jim. Jim's uh, my murderer. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm very, very excited to be here. Well, not only is it, I've heard, I haven't seen it yet, I'm seeing it tonight. Um, not only is it terrifying and jumpy and all the things you imagine from a typical Halloween movie, but it's got David Gordon Green directing it. So there's an injection of subbtlety and simplicity and a bit of poetry even. And, you know, I, thankfully he's given us women our brains back. That's very important. It's perfect. I mean, it, uh, it's the Me Too movie of the season. And um, yeah, we've got three protagonists, strong female characters, and all the other women have got personalities, which is uh, a beautiful change. And I want to see more of it, especially in the horror genre. I mean, there's no words to describe it. I just feel so overwhelmed, and I'm so glad I got to meet the fans. I'm sorry. Hi, Nick. <laughs> Hi. This is Nick. Sorry, I had to interrupt. Um, yeah. The word is uh, trembling with fear and nerves and uh, excitement all at the same time. Uh, I play Vicky. I play the babysitter in the film that um, may or may not get brutally murdered by Michael Myers. <laughs> It's such an iconic franchise to be a part of, and not just to be a part of this franchise, but be, to be a part of this film, which I believe is so good in this franchise. It's a really cool thing to be a part of. Yes. To this day, opening my closet, I have to. T I like. I don't even look it and open. I open it and I just throw my fingers in my closet and feel around because I'm so terrified still. Perfect. Thank you so much.